Happy birthday, Larry. Well, I guess you could say we're both vintage 1952. The big 7-0. Mm, that's a big one. Well, the way I look at it is after you turn 50, that check engine light starts to come on. And you got to be willing to give up at least six body parts between 50 and death. And if you're unwilling to give them up, they're going to come take them anyway. It could be your gallbladder, your spleen, a couple of knees, a hip. You know the drill. I think in your 70s, like me, you're going to find that it was a lot easier being in your 20s and the 70s than it is to be in your 70s and the 20s. But that's just my opinion. Anyway. Let's get on with it. I'm going to take you down a little memory lane. Been living down here in South Florida now for about 38 years. Um, you could say that I credit my uh, five and a half years at Chinook for that. Going through the three worst winters in American history, I've decided uh, I've had enough snow. So, South Florida it is. We only have two seasons down here. We have hot summer and cool summer. We're um, transitioning at the moment from hot summer to cool summer. We don't get a fall down there, and it's too bad Betty and I both love fall leaves and everything, but that's okay. We have a remedy for that. The remedy is to simply turn the house into fall. Okay, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Of course, you remember Chinoot Air Force Base, what it looked like. So this is years later, but it's pretty much the same, except some of the buildings that were there when we were there are missing, like Whitehall. Of course, you remember Chapel One. And of course, Chapel 2. You might remember uh, Colonel Bob Deming, and uh, you might recognize some people in the photo here. This was taken at Chapel 2 during a service. There he is in one of his sermons there. And there's him and his wife, you know, out in front of Chapel 2. Gary, uh, he played in the um, Air Force Band of the Midwest. He was one of the guitarists in the rock band. I, I can't remember his last name and I can't remember his wife's name, but that was him and his wife and their kid. Now this, you should uh, recognize as being one of the household groups. This was one I was in. They had Warren and Kay Donahue and Ron and Lindy Anderson. That's them on the right, and that's Warren and Kay um, there in this photo. And then Ron and Lindy in this photo. In 1978, we took a vacation down to Florida, and by that time, Warren was out of the Air Force and living in Fort Lauderdale area. 
And we went down to visit with him and, and Kay down there. There he is in his home, and there they are together. I don't think they're together anymore, but uh, that said, this was their home in Tamarack, one of the Fort Lauderdale areas. And this was our home up in Bales Lake, uh, outside of Loda, Illinois. This was a fall time picture, but that's what it's like. And you re might remember some people in this photo, of course, you and Debbie and the kids, and uh, there's Chuck and Ed and a tie shirt, you know, and uh, anyhow, that was taken at our house. I think we had one of our little meetings up there, and I believe this is David and Michael, your son David, my son Michael, okay, and uh, this is me and the kids about... Uh, about 1981, uh, not too long before, you know, we left for Tyndall Air Force Base. So, uh, and this is uh, me and my extended family. Today, all three of my kids are in this photo. With the kid in the yellow shirt is Paul, who was the baby in the previous photo. He was born at Chanute Air Force Base in July of 1980. A little to the right in the photo in the blue t-shirt is Mike and Kara Pulaski. Okay, Michael was uh, the little boy that was in the bathtub with uh, David. And to the right them, next to Betty over there, that's Betty in the far right in the upper row, is uh, Elizabeth Maria. You know, you might remember her, you know, coming with us to the things. And Paul's wife, Holly, is in the photo. She's... Uh, from the bottom left, if you go up three people, she's the second girl in the glasses there. And uh, Paul just, if you want to feel young, I'll make you feel young. Paul just retired from the Air Force as a Master Sergeant last year. He's going to the University of uh, Alaska in Anchorage, and he's studying to become a commercial airline pilot. His wife is head of the respiratory therapy section of one of the big hospitals there in Anchorage. But anyhow, that's the clan. And this was a recent photo taken of uh, Betty and I. It was taken uh, September of 2022 at Betty's 55th high school reunion in Wheaton, Illinois. Uh, not Wheaton, Illinois. I'm sorry. Wheaton, Maryland. Anyway, so that's about it. Uh, once again, happy birthday, congratulations, hope you all are doing well. Uh, we certainly are down here enjoying retirement and what have you. Uh, but uh, anyway, take care.